So I've had this question for quite some time. We know that Yosef is called Yosef HaTzadik. I mean, I'm called Rabbi Fari. No one calls me Shlomo HaTzadik. I mean, maybe my mom. But other than that, why is Yosef called Yosef HaTzadik? Al Chachamim explained to us because he was able to be mit gaber. He was able to gather his strength and overcome a Nisayon. Now, this to me is really strange because the Nisayon of Yosef doesn't seem to be something that is so hard. And let me explain what I mean by that. Yosef is a huge tzaddik. He's a greater rabbi than you ever met in your entire life. There's no one on this earth that holds a candle to Yosef. If I told you, you know something, you know why the Gadol Ador is such a great tzaddik? Because he didn't have a relationship with a non-Jewish woman. He married a girl from Bet Yaakov. That makes Yosef a tzaddik? I need to share with you a shot that I saw in the name of the Divrei Shmuel. Rav Biederman brought it down and it hit me like a lightning bolt. The Divrei Shmuel says something unreal. Rashi tells us that the wife of Potiphar actually, her intentions were L'shem Shamayim. Sounds weird, but Rashi says it. Go check it up, you'll see. He says that she saw in the stars that she was supposed to have a child with Yosef. She thought that meant I have to be with Yosef. I need to marry him and build a family. Rashi says, but what she didn't realize was it was going to come through her daughter. Says the Divrei Shmuel, you know who else saw those stars? Yosef. And therefore, Yosef asked himself, what difference does it make if I say no, if I turn away? Anyway, it's written in the stars, I'm gonna have this child, which means I'm gonna fall into this sin. What's the point? Says the Divrei Shmuel. You know what Yosef's greatness was? Even if he thought it was gonna happen anyway, he was gonna make the mistake, he was gonna do the sin. That doesn't mean I need to do it right now. Sometimes a person feels weak and doesn't feel like they'll be able to stand up to a Nisayon. Am I strong enough to say no this second, this time? If yes, let me at least do that. What will happen later? I don't know, not my problem. That's why Yosef is called a tzaddik, because he looked at what he thought was a foregone conclusion and said to himself, even if this is gonna happen at some point in my future, it's not happening today. Can you do that?